What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back. So, gotta go rescue our buddy uh, Lafacette. Well, I don't know. I mean, technically, are we rescuing him? I don't know. I don't know where the exorcist lady went with him, but he's bound to her. So we gotta find out where she went. Go get him back. Probably gonna be a slightly shorter episode today. have it mastered. Um, but yeah, so well, this is obviously Thursday's episode, but today, Wednesday, it's my birthday. I took the day off work. I'm planning on doing like a day stream, but I ended up sleeping in until like 12, 15-ish. Um, and then after shower and food and all that, I was like, fuck, because we're having like a bunch of people over, having a big dinner. I was like, I better get some tales recorded. So, I'm trying to get the episodes for today done. Um, but I also wanted to do that stream, so... I'm gonna jump into that uh, in just a little bit here. So, gotta keep the episodes short and sweet. Two of you. I'll fight one of you. Oh. Don't waste my time. Uh, very weak oh, martial arts. Hit a lot harder. A fair amount of health on him. Well, that works. I wish I had void rain, Mastery. You do, Master. Alright, what do you want to master now? Wind type damage? Velvet's wearing. Uh, let's get you Flame Lord. And might as well do this too. Guess it's time to fight. That ain't gonna get ya. Very weak to my wait. Resistance attack, 30% of the weakest martial arts. How much health do these things have? 6,000. Yay. Oh wait, no, I came from that way. Seems like a dead end up here, though. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! Look, that wall is cracked. That means... <laughs> I was just like, dead? No, nah, there's no dead end. Just immediately hit A. No way I'm getting stuck. Don't waste my time. It's too hurt. Hurricane! <laughs> 
Killing flash! But I'm this close. I won't fit! Form zero! Come on, really? Air thrust. Calcite pendant, amber pendant. And who is using pendants? Oh, we got a new one for you to pick up. So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Enominat. Not even the resplendent Mogilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than meets the eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Mogilu, Madam Eleanor actually tries! Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, People viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves, is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples like this were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> Alright. Turtles. Ah! You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. I'm happy to help you all. But this time, I really, really needs to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it, there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! I'm not greedy, I swear it. Look, I have special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. This poor guy. <laughs> Lots of stuff. I could probably enhance some gear, but uh, uh, that one. No, oh, weather darting is dope. Okay, let me go see which ones are mastered real fast here. So calcite and amber, I'm done with. 
Other Amber I'm done with. Guardian I'm done with. Oh, oh, damn it, I should have looked at that. I guess we're gonna hold off on dismantling. Um, just freely opens. Let's go down here first. I mean, dismantling one thing and losing out isn't gonna be the end of the world. A lot of shit here. I'm not trying to fight the demon and like four things of mages at the same time. Wee bit overkill for my tastes. That is fucking brutal. We are getting out of here. Holy shit. Yeah, never mind that. They just took Rokuro and fucking ruined it. God. So apparently, that cast, if they get that off, it's gonna hurt. Oh boy, here we go. The well, better thing to do is just gonna be avoid the mages. Dude, what is happening? Why is everyone down here dying? Fuck 
Now there's an undead mage. This is so not good. It's only got a thousand health left. I need to keep this undead guy from casting. Starting to see the effects of the uh, scaled combat. Food's ready. It's nothing special. You sure you? Okay, I'm gonna start auto cooking because I am like risking the biscuit right now. Some of these fights. Everyone ready to play? <laughs> Oh, that's right. I don't have Lava Set. I need to pull him back in. As soon as I get him. I wish there was a way to, like, see the exact damage number somebody's doing. Like, you know, am I better off pulling in, uh, keeping Rokuro or keeping, uh, Aizen in? You really do have a peculiar air about you. It's a cat's. Kitty cat's. Kitty cat's. I've slept bangs. Ah, oh, let me love monster thingy. It's the exit. Dire battle. I'll finish this quick. These magicians are so hit or miss, like right there, we just pooped on them, and then other times, can't do a thing. I'll end this quickly. Uh, what are these is we can do? Very weak to hidden hearts. I don't that I didn't get a single thing out of them. Give me your fucking thing. 
We're finished here. Target. <laughs> Let's fight this thing and then we'll probably wrap up this episode here. So there's still a fair amount of this area left. Are we ready for this? Uh weakness to fire and air, resistant to martial arts and earth, weak to hidden arts. Earth and air. Wait. Fire and air. Well, I have one air move. Resistance like everything else, so... Alright, so... XXXB basically is gonna be my best combo here. <laughs> Probably should have had Lava Set for this fight. This is full of hidden arts. Sash is done. I gotta know, uh, hands of receiving level two random skills. Cool. Um, oh, just the one who can't wear that. All right. Well, I did say we were gonna stop here. We're gonna go just a little bit further. So we killed that. I'm just gonna make it back to, uh, basically, I'm gonna check, check the other side that I didn't explore. And then I'm guessing this is. Well, let me kick it now. Uh, this is probably the exit. Big bottle. Oh my god, dude. I've been burning. Ever since we got up to uh, Artorius and beyond, like... <laughs> oh, fuck. No, stop that. Stop that. Man, I don't want to do a risky encounter. Please stop. Go fight somebody else. Oh, 
want to check the other zone, the other part real fast. Early on in the game, I mean, get, given I expect difficulty to progress more as I advance, it's, you know, natural. But early on in the game, I wasn't, like, I wasn't aware of, of mastering, I wasn't aware of, like, you know, doing multiple devours and do a power combo. Um, so a lot of things I didn't know. I wasn't really playing to, to resistances, I was more being like, oh, this thing's a crustacean, let me use the crustacean smash move instead of looking at target specific weakness and now that I'm actually doing things like that the combat is harder than it was before kind of confusing <laughs> yes I shouldn't say that it's harder it's more just the enemies I'm fighting are starting to get really freaking hard the sheer difficulty of the combat feels about the same. It's just certain enemies are... Well, mainly those mages, man. Freaking, like, one-shot you if you get hit by that water thing. But I guess that makes sense, because it is a hard cast. Oh, shit. Time to Like, if you just stay on them and don't let them move, they're easy. But, you leave them alone and give them a chance to start charging up that water cast. Some scary amounts of damage. Suspicious. safe here. Perfect. So, wrapping things up for now. I'm assuming we'll find Lava Set in the next episode. But either way, make sure to stay tuned. And we will catch you guys then. More Tales of Berseria.